Welcome to this video. Sometimes we have cyclic symmetry in our problems. To reduce computational cost of these problems, we model only one sector of this problem and apply cyclic symmetry interactions to the boundaries. We start with creating a sector of the part which is one tenth of the part. The sector is three dimensional deformable and we create it by solid extrusion. At first we create two infinite lines. Since we are creating one tenth of the model, these lines have 18 degrees angle with horizontal direction. Then we create two arcs. Which are between two infinite lines. And the radius of these arcs are 85 and 100 millimeters. Finally, we close the section. And extrude the section by 10 millimeters. In the next step, we create a hole in this arc. For this purpose, we use shape, cut, and extrude, and then pick the face of the arc and then pick a vertical line. We create a circle, and the center of the circle should be at the center of the arc. And the radius of the circle is 4 mm. Now we can cut the circle through all the parts. In the property module, we create a material which is a steel and inter elastic constants of steel in megapascal here. Then we create a section and assign the section to the part. We enter the part as an independent instance in the assembly module and we create a static general step in the step module. Please notice that we cannot use cyclic symmetry in explicit procedure. The most important part of creating a model with cyclic symmetry is creating cyclic symmetry interaction. In creating cyclic symmetry interaction, we need the axis of symmetry. So we create two points which lie on this axis. We enter positions of these points which lie on the z-axis. Then from create interaction in the initial step, we choose cyclic symmetry. And then we choose one of the surfaces of the sector which is in contact with the next sector. This surface is as the master surface and we should choose another surface as the slave surface. After that, we should pick axis of symmetry and you can see in this window that we can change the role of master and slave surfaces. And also we can enter position tolerance which node is inside this tolerance considered in this interaction. After that, we should enter the total number of sectors and diameter of nodes in this interaction. In the load module, we apply internal pressure to the inner surface of the sector. The type of the load is pressure and we pick the inner surface and enter the magnitude of the pressure. We also accept the amplitude of ramp for this problem. Please notice that without cyclic symmetry interaction, this type of loads will result in an error. In the mesh control, we choose hexahedral elements and also we choose sweep and medial axis algorithm. And then we set the part and also assign element type to this part. The elements are standard, 3D esters and linear. Finally, we can mesh the part and create a job and submit the job.
Now we can go to the results and plot different contours of the sector. This is the mitral stress in the sector. And also we could show all sectors together by going to view display option and using circular pattern around the axis of symmetry. We only enter the number of sectors and the total angle is 360 and this is the full model. For better presentation of our contour, we can hide elements of the model. Thank you guys for watching this video. If this video has helped you out, please let us know by a like, a comment or a subscribe. See you in next videos.